in the Florida Keys, there are many, many stresses on the reef term. So really, we're looking at quite a degraded reef. So this coral is about 68% efficient in turning the energy of light into energy that can be used later to make carbohydrate. Corals are very, very slow growing. Most of the corals we're seeing around here will be at least tens of years old. And big corals, say a couple of meters in diameter, will be hundreds of years old. So if you break a coral, it'll take many, many years for these corals to regrow. Sponges are actually a really, really old group. They're about uh, 500 million years old. Uh, it's a, one of the first multicellular animals of the sponges. So there's a lot to, to be learned by doing in situ science, which is one thing that we can do here at Aquarius. So that measurement is about 13 centimeters across. We have some questions from the uh, Ask an Aquanaut on section of the website. So if, if there's so many species of sponges, how do scientists actually go about classifying these and trying to put them into some sort of order? There it goes. Here comes Daniel out of the habitat. He's headed for the surface world. So join us tomorrow. This is Mark Patterson and Dr. Annalise Hagen and Captain Phil Renault saying bye-bye from Aquarius and come back tomorrow. Thanks for joining us.